Hey, I'm Metanoia Webb, AKA Globetrotting Stiletto, creator and host of Cupcakes and Cafe with GTF. With over a decade of experience working in publishing and media, I've crossed paths with extraordinary people. I'm talking some of the most influential names in the biz. And when you're a tastemaker, globetrotting is inevitable. So I thought, what better way to find out the secrets that keep these visionaries at the top of their game than to chat over tasty cupcakes and a delicious cup of joe. Get ready for candid conversation and a few good laughs on Cupcakes and Cafe with GTS. So Trinita, I remember the very first time we met. Um, it was at an Origins event that was being hosted at your Flat Iron Store location. And when you walk away, I turn to the girls in PR and I'm like, she has amazing energy, who is that? And they're like, Trinita? Oh, she's the VP of Global Communications and Strategic Alliances for both Ojan and Origins. I'm like, okay. Okay. Really, it's, you know, it's a glorified public relations title. Being at the helm of global communications must involve a lot of travel. So how often are you on the road? Um, a lot. Um, <laughs> I, I, I'm fortunate that, I, you know, I am in a position where I can sort of pick and choose the time when I really need to make those trips. Okay. I have uh, 27 countries that I'm responsible for, mm -hmm. and so you can't- 27? Yeah, so you can't be everywhere all the time. You know, I have a family. And then because we are a brand about discovery, um, I was able to take advantage of being in Asia and actually take a little trip to Cambodia to explore um, and really immerse myself in the spirit of the brand. You know, the things that you find there are unlike things that you'll find in other places in the world. And what do you buy? Jewelry. <laughs> First of all, you have to think, like, what can you ship back? What can you put in your suitcase? And what can you actually display so that if someone says, oh, that's interesting, you have a story. I love having things in my home that, you know, oh, it's funny you should mention that. That's, you know, bragging rights. And I was like, oh, on well, my last trip to Cambodia, I got a quilt. I bought this gorgeous um, um, mask, a hand-carved mask of one of the original of uh, kings of Ethiopia, of, Ethiopia, of Cambodia. Mm -hmm. And um, I bought this necklace as a one little find. You know, what is it made of? It's a bone. Bone and twine. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's, it. it's fun, you know? And it's a statement. Statement necklace is a totally in, so you're in trend. <laughs> so when you go to these foreign places and you're just thinking about kind of like the, the strategic branding for Ojan and Origins and just like tapping into some of the natural resources there, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. how do you go there, find those things, and then implement them as a cutting edge product? The premise of the brand is really to scour the earth mm -hmm. to find these natural resources. Ingredients don't ex actually have to be extraordinary either. We right. found ingredients that are really beautiful in products that are, you know, run-of-the-mill products, but we found different ways to enhance skincare by right. using those ingredients. We recently have um, this ingredient called African Anagasis, which is from a tree bark that you find in Ghana. Okay. And we made our product line called Plant Scription. And it literally does these amazing things to change the structure and the foundation of the skin. What's in it that makes it do that? And how can we take that interesting property mm -hmm. and formulate skincare line with it. Janice, how does Jet Setting fuel your creativity? The minute you step off of a plane and you're surrounded by people that don't look like you, that don't speak the language you do, that have different cultures, it's really, you know, it's the next step is inspiration. I just really love learning about cultures. I love language. Um, typically when I'm traveling, if I have a long enough lead time, I'll study some of the language. Do you speak any other languages? Not fluently, but I know just enough about most of the ones that I've gone to. Right. To get it by. Yes. The same. <laughs> just practice two phrases and then they start speaking the whole thing to you and you're like, I just know. Slow down. I just know how to say it. Being in such a um, powerful position must come with a lot of pressure. So where are you going to just unwind and say, hey, this is, I need to strategize for the next year, the next two years. Where's that special place? I think the place for me to really put things into perspective is to be with my family. It is um, difficult to, to take a trip perhaps to Asia. You don't just go for the day. Right. Um, you uh, go for weeks. Mm -hmm. And so when you have a five-year-old and you have an almost 13-year-old, you know, that really does, um, 
you know, if there there are some sacrifices. My children have grown up with me in this role. Okay. So, so that's the mommy's on a plane, mm -hmm. mommy's calling from another country. Right. Um, they really don't have a point in their life where that's not been sort of their norm. Mm -hmm. So I think that helps. Good. Um, I hadn't been the mom baking cookies ever. What are your favorite places to go? I mean, you mentioned Cambodia, Shanghai, Spain, um, London. Like where, you know, what is that favorite destination of yours? And what do you do there when you go? And yeah. where yeah. are you eating, sleeping, shopping, partying? Like what's going on in a typical Chinese style vacation? Um, I love Spain. Okay. I do love Spain um, for a lot of reasons. It suits me in a way that sort of, when I'm there, I just feel like I could be there. I like going to places where I actually don't behave like a tourist. Whenever I go on my personal trips, I always try to pick places that sort of put me in an environment where I feel like, oh, this is the market and this is the, the dry cleaner. And I sort of have that sort of, if I did live in this part of the world, what would it be like? So how does kind of traveling, going to these different places, influence your own individual style. I think that the, the, the day of the cookie cutter mm -hmm. um, outfit, it's really, it's played. And I think that um, I'm excited to see that individualism is really being celebrated. You know, I kind of just want you to take us through your journey. You yeah. know, through your journey, where did you start? You know, how did you get to the point where you are today? I'm okay. just interested in hearing that story. Well, I am, you know, a native of Florida, I always, um, wanted to live in New York. Okay. Even when I was growing up, you know, I would have people say, they didn't believe I was from Florida. They always thought I was, I guess I just have that edge. Fast forward, you know, I found a, a career track that put me in a position where, you know, I could really um, find a place for myself and find an opportunity to come to New York. Then I lived in Boston for a while. Okay. And um, that's when I got into beauty, actually. Funny enough, I started, beauty, you know, representing bronze shavers. I was reaching out to the fashion magazine and talking to the GQs of the world and in styles of the world. Mm -hmm. And then um, not too long after that time, I was recruited actually by an agency here in New York. Okay, and so they, from Boston to New York. From Boston to New York. Okay. Um, and that was, uh, that's, that's really when I really got an opportunity to start working on brands like Wonder Bra and mm. Cover Girl and Max Factor and even Head and Shoulders and Secret. Estee Lauder came knocking. Wow. That's an illustrious journey. Uh, it is. <laughs> it is. It's mine. Yeah. <laughs> so then that was kind of how I ended up with the SLR companies and I'm really close to having a 10 year anniversary with them now. Well, congratulations. Yeah. That's Thank exciting. You. So just to close things off, okay. where's your next trip? Where are you going next? I'm looking at the snow. I'd like somewhere but the beach. <laughs> Fair enough. The beach anywhere at you know 80 degree temperatures. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is crazy. This is great.